One of the exciting things about working at the Berea College Forest is having a link to the uh, one of the oldest managed forests in the country and being able to read one of the oldest management plans in the country written by Silas Mason, our, our first forester here at Berea College. A few years ago when I was reading through his original plan written around 1910, something piqued my interest that I thought should, uh, should merit some further exploration. He said that the two major ridges of the Berea College Forest, one of which we are on right here, was mostly populated by American chestnut and shortleaf pine forest. And those two species are very much depleted now. It, it got me looking. I decided, okay, I wanna, I wanna see what is still out there in these areas in the line of shortleaf pine and maybe find some American chestnut sprouts too. And to my surprise, I stumbled on not just a chestnut sprout, but an actual, you know, pretty good sized American chestnut without the blight. So that was really encouraging and got me looking even more and I ended up finding about 200 chestnut sprouts over about a 20 acre area here on the ridge, right where Silas Mason described there were so many 110 years ago. And by harvesting this oak tree, I was able to provide sunlight for this American chestnut sprout and it's growing quite nicely now in the several years that it's had full sunlight and it still doesn't show signs of the blight. We're saving the germplasm, the, the native uh, American chestnut ge genes that are adapted to this particular site. And we hope, you know, expand efforts here and create what we call a mother orchard to hopefully be a, a major player in restoration of American chestnut. In uh, 2014, I had a, a, a thinning harvest in here to create basically a, what would be called a shelter wood harvest. In February, we had a, a crew come in here and plant 20,000 shortleaf pine seedlings. And since, since then, they've done really well. This is an example of one right here. And we planted 20,000 seedlings over about a 20 acre area within a 160 acre burn unit. And the, the goal here is to reestablish stand of shortleaf pine and then manage it with fire to continue to have a, an open habitat here where, where you have briars, weeds, grasses. We're trying to do our part to restore these native ecosystems in Kentucky. One of our main functions is supposed to be outreach to Appalachia. And, you know, I, th I think re restoration of American chestnut fits a lot of our eight great commitments very much. So, you know, we're always looking for how can we connect people back to nature? There's something about bringing back a species like that, a keystone species that I think helps restore the, the culture of Appalachia. And that's one of the, that would be a, an outstanding way to do that. Thank you.